I'm still doing this. Every year I see you people and I'm still out there hammering away. And the more I do this, the more I realize this is dumb. And there's a lot of shit going on in the ski world. Let's talk about it. The Masters is coming up. I might be wrong, but in order to qualify for the Masters, it's not what it was for the last 347 years, which is the top seven guys from last year who busted their ass and skied in 45 tournaments. It is the top seven guys from what I can assess, May. You have to do 13 or 14 LCGBQ plus GB. These are the rules now. In order to qualify for Masters, you're gonna need to bring us the blood of two pythons, Clark Gable's left nut. We're gonna have to see a DNA sample from Ted Kennedy. We need all that stuff and then you have a shot of qualifying. Does any of that make any sense at all? But here's the payoff. If you get in, you get to pay an extra three or $400 just for the entry fee and then an extra couple grand to fly to Pine Mountain, Georgia. Let me go in the other room and calm down. That's definitely gonna be worth it. Holy shit, bub. Don't call it the Masters, that's it. We're getting rid of the name because it's not the Masters. It should be called Guy That Did Pretty Good in May. Guy That Wasn't mip, mip, So Bad in May. Guy That Showed Up in May. And then all of a sudden became a friggin' master. Why don't you call it, oh, he's okay in May. She's pretty good in May. Let's let her in. There's no way in hell you can be called a master and then they charge you to get into the friggin' tournament. Who runs those other tournaments? Oh, it's the same people that put on the masters? I smell shit in Denmark. Someone stepped in shit and saw this sneaker, and I don't know who it is, but I'm gonna go to the masters and find out. I might just walk around that friggin' masters with one of them Sherlock Holmes friggin' magnifying glass and look for clues as to who's screwing everybody hard.